We're recording. Okay. Uh, FP1 2015 summer OCR exam. FP1 2015. The complex number X plus IY is denoted by Z. Express 3Z, Z star minus the modulus of Z squared in terms of X and Y. First thing to think is like Y, but anyway, that's what you have to do. So if Z is X plus IY, then Z star is X minus IY. And there's your first mark right there, just for knowing that the complex conjugate is X minus IY. Um, the modulus of Z is the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's what it means, isn't it? It's the, the magnitude of that, the length of that um, number, how far it is from the origin on the argand diagram. And so it's Pythagoras theorem, so that's what we get. So z, the modulus of z squared, is just x squared plus y squared. There is Pythagoras theorem right there. And so this thing that we're supposed to be expressing, 3 z, z star, minus modulus of z squared must be 3 times x plus i y times x minus i y minus x squared plus y squared. We know that the kind of one of the purposes of having the complex conjugate, what we do with that is when we multiply it out, it's difference of two squares, but with complex numbers that becomes the sum of two things. So we have x times x minus x y i plus x, y, i, so they cancel out, minus i squared, y squared. And because i squared is minus 1, minus minus that gives us plus i squared. Then we've got to take away x squared plus y squared. And you could multiply it out if you really want to, but actually already it's kind of obvious, isn't it, that we've got three lots of x squared plus y squared, take away one lot of x squared plus y squared, so we've got two lots of x squared plus y squared as our answer for that one. And uh, that's maths.